Shasta and Foothill of Bakersfield clash at the Golden Wind Center in Sacramento. Both clubs dominated all year and cruised to the CIF Division 5 tournament, but there could only be one. Athletes of all ages competed in modified versions of track and field events like using a softball for the shot put throw. Each year the Chico State softball team rallies behind a team motto and this year they've chosen one heartbeat. What's up everyone, I'm Luna here to get you caught up on MSU Denver Sports. But before we talk some Roadrunner action, Houston, we have a World Series. The Houston Astros have defeated the Dodgers in seven games. The basketball team has won nine games out of their last ten, and Chico High paid them a special visit today for a good old rivalry matchup. Meet Tanner Smith. He's a unique player for Biggs High School, being a designated hitter and utility player. My favorite thing about baseball is hitting and uh, pitching the ball. Smith has suited up for the Wolverines for the last four seasons, but he faces a challenge. With Tanner's case, um, he has quite a bit of seizures. In addition to seizures, Smith has autism, a developmental disorder that makes it harder for him to socialize and communicate, but that doesn't stop him from playing baseball. In a small school district, we have so many great coaches that allowed Tanner to enter the game. Whether it's us up by four, them up by four, uh, gives them an opportunity to get into live game scenarios. Smith is unable to travel with the team, but joins them at every home game. So any game that he can travel um, with us, with his family, he attends. Um, I know it. I know it saddens him when he doesn't come, but uh, he couldn't be more happy to see us the next day. His presence is missed when he's not with his team, and coaches and players describe him as just one of the guys. To this team, it means that he's, for one, part of us, always has been part of us. He's just a brother to me. Uh-oh. Oh, the great Bambino. Always a character, always fun to be around. Always gotten something spunky to say. <laughs> and he's always there to pick us up when we're down. Is there anything that you want people to know about you? Um, just that I'm uh, a good kid and how people like me. His baseball knowledge and his attitude for the game is just, just it's opened up my eyes into a whole nother aspect. And uh, we aren't Wolverine baseball without him. Despite his challenges, Smith doesn't allow anything get in his way from doing what he loves most. Bates on three. One, two, three. Bates! <laughs> Good job, team. <laughs> Reporting from Biggs, Luna Nas, Action News Now. For Paradise High senior Gabe Price, it's all about feeling a runner's high. My favorite part about it is, yeah, like racing against other people and when you're both trying to beat each other, you can hit some just crazy times and uh, have a blast in the, in the, during it. And then afterwards, of course, you feel like crap, but you know, <laughs> yeah. From feeling the highest of highs to the lowest of lows, the day of the section championship was the same day the campfire broke out and Price missed his chance for a qualifier, but that was the last thing on his mind. We thought we'd lost our, half of our family, so um, for me, like, I wasn't really wanting to do too much. After learning his family was safe, Price decided he'd still compete. Here you have one of the top guys in the section, and he would have gone to state finals. They knew that, so this guy needs to have an opportunity to run in the state finals. Part of it was like my family uh, stepping in, and some of the Chico runners just saying, hey, like, you've been working for this for so long, don't just let it go. And uh, so they gave me a second opportunity and I, uh, I took it. Only two days following the devastating fire, Price needed a 1740 to qualify and he clocked in a 1712, nearly 30 seconds than what he needed. He represented Paradise well. Doesn't happen very often, but obviously fires don't happen very often like that, you know, where it wipes out a town. So, um, you know, what does it say about him? He's not going to give up. Not giving up despite losing his home, Price is now shifting his focus to graduating and the sport that's helped him move forward from the fire. Like it, was, it wasn't easy in the beginning, especially to get out, but once, once I did start running, it, started, it felt, felt more like home. Gabe says he'll attend Christian Brothers University in Memphis, Tennessee next year to run cross country, but his ultimate finish line is to become a mechanical engineer. I have a pickup truck that I love very dearly. I always like kind of tinkering on it, so thought, well, why not design the cars and make them for a living? And I was like, well, I'd love to do that for a profession, so. He maintained a 3.5 GPA and heads to CBU on an academic athletic scholarship. I'm Gabe Price, and I'm your Subway Scholar Athlete of the Week. Reporting in Chico, Luna Nas, Action News Now.